My name is Ed Haas. This is the first optical enclosure for the Coherent Soft X-ray Beamline. Each Beamline team produced a drawing for each enclosure which set the nominal dimensions, set the location of the doors, the location of the labyrinths that are needed, and a set of specifications was written which was supplied to the Hutch contractor. This enclosure is relatively short. The work that's done with this particular beam line is in the soft x-ray regime, which means that there are no downstream enclosures other than this first optical enclosure that you see here. Other beam lines will use as many as four or more enclosures in total. I'm very much looking forward to our researchers being satisfied. My name is Cecilia Sanchez Henke. I'm one of the scientists in Brookhaven National Lab and uh, one of the group leaders for the project beamlines at uh, NSLS2. Specifications of the beamline will allow you to do experiments that you have been dreaming about it, but you could not do because you didn't have enough photons of these characteristics. In the case of the polarization, we offer a capability that is not present in any of the facilities in, in, the, in the current facilities in the U.S. There was a need for us to build this beamline because the NSLS capabilities were getting short in what we needed to do in our experiments. Uh, not only us, but also uh, people coming from other facilities are also demanding a much better capabilities that this beamline will provide them. I have been involved in the project since uh, 2006. I have been dreaming about this beamline for a long time. I think it's a very nice beamline. It's a unique experiment. Uh, both branches are important. Both branches are unique. This is a dream beamline, right? So we really want to have it on.